Okay, so the first question is, from what version on was the memory leak protection in Tomcat 6 backported? Um, it was 6.0.24 was the first release where um, those features started to appear. There were additional features added in 6.0.26, and there are more features again in 6.0.28 that's being worked on at the minute. Uh, what is the Mac JVM we can use with JDK 1.6? Um, you can use the default one provided by Apple. Um, Works gives, has given me a Mac laptop, so my, my development alternates between my Mac and my Windows desktop um, and Linux virtual machines, and it all works absolutely fine. So uh, Sun JDKs for Windows and Linux, and the um, Apple JDK on Mac uh, is okay. If you're on, um, if you want to use the IBM or the HP JDK, uh, if you're on platforms where they're supported, that's also fine. I would be wary of um, Open JDK. It should be okay, but you sometimes see issues, and the um, the other JDKs tend to have problems. So normally I would recommend, if you've got a completely free choice, just go with the Sun one because you just know it's going to work. Next question, what's the default JVM memory that uh, Tomcat 7 will use? And Tomcat will use about 10 meg. Um, everything else is going to be applications and sessions. How much memory the JVM actually requests when it starts is going to come down to um, how much memory you've got on your machine, how many cores you've got, uh, what operating system you're running on and what exact JVM version. But the Tomcat footprint really hasn't changed that much from 6. It's about 10 meg. Okay, for Manager JMX, do we need to enable JMX or is it enabled by default? Now, if you want to use the JMX proxy interface that the Manager JMX role has access to, uh, that's enabled by default. You don't need to do anything else. Uh, is Tomcat, does Tomcat 7 have any option to add two or multiple da database servers in the JDBC pool properties? If yes, how? Um, not entirely sure what the question is there, so I'll um, try and ask both of the questions I think it might be. First of all, Commons DBCP nor JDBC pool have any option for failover, so you can only specify a single database in each connection pool. However, a lot of database drivers do provide failover, and you ca you can configure the connection pool to use the driver with failover, but you're then relying on the driver to provide that. Um, and you can, of course, have multiple JDBC uh, connection pools defined in both the server.xml and in a web application. Will log rotation happen by default, or do we need to configure it? Um, it varies by log file. Um, all of the log files produced by Julie will rotate by default. Um, the one file that doesn't is Catalina.out, which is the redirected standard out on Linux. Um, and you can actually just disable that anyway, because all of those messages will also go to the Catalina.log file that is rotated. So the simplest thing to do is just um, disable the... Um, the echo, sorry, let's start that again. The way the Julie login configuration is configured is it will output um, messages to both the Catalina.log and the console. The console is then redirected to a file. So in the, in the Julie's configuration, you just want to remove the um, console handler and just have it go directly to the file. That will save you having the duplicate logs and it should reduce the size of Catalina.out. However, if web applications log directly to standard out, then that will still fill, out, fill the Catalina.out file. In those cases, what you can do is enable swallow output for the context. That will redirect standard out for those contexts to the context-specific log file, which you can then run through Julie and rotate normally. So there shouldn't be any need to use any form of external log rotation. Uh, is there any option to use LDAP or Active Directory? Yes, the uh, GNDI realm uh, will work with Active Directory. There's been a number of improvements to make that work uh, better um, more recently. So, yeah, take a look at the GNDI realm and you should be fine. How is the Apache server stress tested? In particular, are there any reports on response times to different combinations of JVMs, memory, and CPU? Um, in short, no. 
Um, response time is pretty much going to be dictated by the web application rather than Tomcat. Um, there's actually very little overhead that Tomcat will add by default. It's around 50 to 100 microseconds. So when you see, when you when you sort of see response response time figures, that's nearly always down to the web application rather than Tomcat. Is the Server 3 um, complete, complete implementation complete? Yes, it is. Uh, there might be some bugs in it, and if you look in Bugzilla, you'll see a few that people have reported. But the Servlet 3, JSP 2.2, and EL 2.2 implementations should be complete. Um, if you find that part of it isn't, then uh, please do report a bug and we'll fix it. Uh, what's the sta planned stable release date for Tomcat 7? No planned date um, in terms of estimate. I would say it could be anywhere from 6 to 12 months. That's normally how long it takes. I'm hoping that with the more frequent release cycle and the lower numbers of open bugs, then we'll be able to get it to a stable release more quickly than that. But it is just going to depend on um, how, how many people test the early releases, how, mu how much feedback we get, um, and how many bugs they find. But I would have hope by the end of the year we should be in a pretty good position for a stable release. Uh, is it possible to hear something more detailed about the JMX MB manage manageability? Okay. Um, in short, all of Tomcat's internal components uh, will expose a JMX beam. So the engine, host, contacts, the wrappers, the servlets, the filters, all of those are accessible via JMX, and you can certainly read all of their properties. In some cases, you can set them, and in some cases, there are also additional methods that you can execute. Um, really, the best way to get a, a, a good feel for what's available is start up a Tomcat instance, start up JConsole, connect to Tomcat, and then just have a look around and see what's there.